What's going on everyone, Olita back here with a brand new video on the channel. I don't need my headphones. Today we have a new tutorial. I know you guys love my kind of tutorials and today I will show you how you guys take the best corners on EFC24. I will show you two or three different tips and the ones that I use the most to score corners on this year's game. One good tip before we jump into the video would be to have Virgin One Dyke. That would always help. Or Timo Dier Halan. So let's just jump into today's corner kick tutorial. So first of all, before we jump into this corner tutorial, I want to show you kind of the team that I think is very very good to use the corners to perfect in, in the perfect way kind of. We have first of all Alexia Puteas who will take the corners from the right hand side because we want to have a player that's left footed on the right and a right footed that's on the left side so we can have it like the in swing corner basically. So in the background we have Alexia Puteas who will take it from as I said the right and then we have Rud Hulit who will take it from the left and in this case obviously we have probably the best aerial player, aerial whatever you want to call it, the best header, just the best player on the game almost, Erling Haaland, who is very, very good in the air. So I would advise you guys in terms of coin budget before we jump into the tutorial is obviously if you have the coins for Haaland or if you have him somehow, play with him. He's the best player on the game almost. A cheaper option would be to get this guy. This is going to be Alexander Serloff. His 89 or 88 rated added item, even his 87 rated item. But this item is arguably the best one, the 89 one. And why you may ask? Basically, because this play, play style is changing the game. The aerial plus one will always help you in terms of physical presence, but also in terms of winning duels. Winning corners, defending corners, doing the L1 crosses towards the back post and having someone there. The aerial plus and gold will always help you. So for example, Serlof is a great shout. One other player who is also a great shout that's super, super good in the air is unfortunately the 91 Thibaut Courtois. And why you may ask again, just because he has the gold one playstyle plus in aerial, which basically says performs even higher jumps and greatly improved aerial physical presence. That means that both Serlof and uh, Courtois in this sense and even Haaland, because we can't go away from Haaland, he obviously has the aerial plus and he's very tall, but these players will have a bigger chance of winning the duels and you will have bigger chance of conceding less corners because they are actually winning the duels, but also has a higher chance of scoring more goals because they have that kind of play style. So in this video, I will show you three kind of different corner setups really. I won't, uh, I'm going to show you the Ulilito corner, the one that you guys have been begging about, a very, very good corner and I will try to go into depth a bit more with it. Second one will be a first post corner that you can also use if you feel like the short one that I use is not really working for you, then you can try the first post one. And if you don't feel like that is working, you can find the back post one really. And this is also, if you master these three, your opponent will second guess almost every time. Because imagine if you score a first post corner, he will move his keeper to the first post, then you just go back post. And if he moves his keeper into the middle of the pitch, you just do the short one and then you will score from there. So if you master these three corner kind of tutorials or corner kicks, you will score so many more easy goals on EFC24 and you will win these games that are super, super tight because corners makes a difference at the highest level. And yeah, I think we should just jump into the video. I mean, I've been trying to explain it a lot. Hopefully you guys like the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like and if you enjoy it and don't forget to leave a nice comment down below and now let's just, just jump into the corner kick tutorial so the first one would be a short corner it's going to be the Udelito corner now I'll try to show you guys how you do it but it's very simple you play this guy short you play to the edge and you send with l1 aiming at the stick to Liao now who's running back post I wait for Liao to beat the line beautiful cross from Frankie de Jong now I should have scored that one for example that was a great one even though one uh, Yashin made some good saves but still a very, very good corner. So from this side again, we take a guy short. That's step one. Step two will be to find a guy at the edge. Step three will be to send the guy, as you see on the minimap at the back here, that's aimed there. He's running, making a great run, waiting for him to beat the line. When he's beating the line, he's making a great run in behind and Hector Bellerin slots that home and that's how you score the Urelito short corner. Once again, make a guy come short, step one. Step two, we find a guy at the edge of the box here. We send the guy at the back post, we play it back to the corner taker. When he's beating the line, the guy at the back post, we play him. That was a bit unlucky because he actually got a deflection. So once again, make a guy come short, play to the edge of the box. Send a guy aiming the stick towards him, play it back to the guy that's running, running back post, bay it in. I mean, I don't even need to shoot it. Simply open it. And for the cross, you also need to put the cross at two to two and a half bars, just a normal cross aiming at the back post to the guy that's running. And you will score so many more goals on EFC 24. So the corner tip number two will be, first of all, to aim the stick in between this white line here and the penalty spot. So I would like to aim it around here. And you've seen, I have Haaland there. And I want to, uh, in terms of power, I want to have two and a half to three bars. 
as you see in bottom right, now I did two and a half bars. I run to the first post with Erling Haaland, wins the duel, and I score every time from it. And it also adds a bit of accuracy when you green time it like I did there with Haaland. I will show you guys again, but two and a half to three bars of power, run away with Haaland, then run towards the first post and you will score so many more corners on the EFC 24. So then again, we have Alexia Puteas Timodier, who has great stats as we see here at top right. Great stats for the free kick taker, aim it in between, like I said now, try to do two and a half to three bars of power. We have Haaland, run away from the space, then we run into the space, time it very, very well. Haaland almost scores. We didn't score, but you see the principle of it. Once again, in between here, a bit more power, I think, was needed. He, now he is actually trying to read that I'm going to Haaland, which is fine. He can be with Haaland how much he wants to. That's perfect, fake that you're running back post, then we run first post to create the space, and then Haaland wins it, green time, and you will score so many more goals on this game if you just learn to master these two corner tutorials. So, the last corner is going to be the back post corner, and it's going to be very simple. Step one, you aim it towards the penalty spot. Step two, you select the player you want to, which in my case is Haaland. Then with the bars at the bottom right, we use three and a half to four bars of power. We fake on the first post, then we run back post with Haaland, it opens up the space, Haaland will win these kind of duels. Now this was red timed, but in the next corner, I will show you if I green time it, I will have a very good chance of scoring. With Frankie de Jong, who is also a very, very bad corner taker, mainly because his curve is very, very poor, I would like to get someone maybe like Hullet, who can actually swing this in. So as we said, penalty spot, we take Haaland as our tallest player, three and a half bars, fake on the first post, then we run back post, opens up the space, Haaland is completely free, and then now he didn't block it off the line, but if you master these three corners, you will score so many more goals on this game. Then again, we have Hullet, we aim it towards the penalty spot, we do three and a half bars of power, and our opponent will also be tricked into thinking, okay, this guy will go uh, first post again because he scored from it. The thing we do, three and a half bars of power, we fake it with Haaland going first post, then we run back post, he is completely alone and then Haaland slots it home to make it even 4-0 in this game and another corner and this is only mental business. Short one, first post, back post. Pull it, step one, aim it towards the penalty spot. Step two, select a guy who has aerial plus or who is the tallest in your team. Step three, three and a half bars of power. Perfect power there as you saw. And then we run, uh, we fake it running first post, run back post. Haaland is completely free, scores once again. And that's the three corners for you. 